Good morning. It's Monday of the sixth week of Easter. And today we're back up in the front of the office with Madeline Fisher, who is our Friday receptionist slash administrative assistant slash whatever else we throw at her for the four hours she's here. But for now, the responsorial song for today. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Amen. The response for today's psalm was, The Lord takes delight in his people. It's an appropriate psalm for Madeline because Madeline is not one of the dour people in our lives. She's quite bubbly, quite outrageous at times, quite open. And I think that helps us sometimes to get through a day really fast because we're giggling and also seriously doing work. And I think that helps. So, Madeline, since you literally have been home, yes, what have you been doing at home for the past months? Not much of anything. <laughs> um, I spend a lot of time with the boys. Now, who are the boys? Uh, Shimo, that we all know, and little Bobo, who is three years old, and he's a, a blonde imperial shih tzu. And he's a monster. He's two, three pairs of my glasses. And I'm on my third pair that I have to go down and order today. And these are bifocal glasses. They are very expensive glasses. And he's two, two pairs of a mommy already. So since, the, since the pandemic started? No, just a little bit before. Yes, a little bit before. So basically, he also is feeling the effects of the pandemic. He, well, we all are, you know. But I've been getting them out. I put Shimo in his stroller. <laughs> He has a stroller all of his own. Well, how old is he? Well, he's going to be 14 this month on the 24th. And we have been very fortunate to have him this long. And even though he's um, taking a lot of different kinds of medication for his age, uh, he's doing fairly well, which is good. He's going to break my heart someday, but, you know, I still have him and I still enjoy him. And during this pandemic, he really is a joy to have with me. Um, we go out for walks. Um, people comment about me walking with Chimo in the stroller, which is absolutely hysterical if you think about it. Uh, they think I'm having a baby in the, in the stroller until they get closer and they can see Shimo looking up like this, <laughs> you know, trying to see what's going on. And little Bobo, he just does his little thing, you know, we walk together. What else have I done? I, um, my big splurge is to get in the car and go down to Dunkin' Donuts and order a coffee. <laughs> uh, that's, my, that's my big, big, big thrill. Um, I do attend to do some grocery shopping. Um, I get the, I'm using Bishop's because it's close, even though they run out of an awful lot of things. Um, I get there about a half hour before they close and usually there's nobody in the store. So I manage to run around, get what I need and get home. So. That's what I've been doing. Basically, nothing. I finished another blanket. I crochet. Um, I've been watching old television shows that I used to watch in the 60s and the 50s. So I've been bur uh, binging on those. So I'm uh, when I have time. So that's what I'm doing. You know, I think enjoying you, myself. I think you have to let everybody know that why people look at you strange with the uh, dog in the stroller is that you live in a 
I live in a 55 um, older community. Um, and, and babies are not usually present there. No, there's no babies unless they're grandkids. Um, and usually you don't see too many in a stroller. Most of the time they're, they're toddling or, because I see them in the pool, and I'm not too sure we're going to have a pool this year. Right. Um, so uh, that's the only time I get to see. So when somebody sees me walking around, and they know most of the people know who I am, uh, they look and they say, oh gosh, she's got a baby. And I said, oh no, 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 let's not go there. Let's not go there. <laughs> no, no baby, little Shimo. That's all it is, little Shimo. So what have you been doing for yourself spiritually in this time? Uh, right before this all hit, I bought myself a new Bible. It's a teaching Bible, which is something I've never had before. And the front of it will give you all kinds of information about what you're reading. Um, mostly the history. Uh, they'll tell you about um, who you're talking to or who is being talked about in a particular passage. Um, there's a reference in the back where the actual Bible is, and it, 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 um, it points you to the front of the Bible, which will give you all the information that you want, and I find it absolutely, absolutely fascinating, you know, especially the Old Testament, because the Old Testament is just full of wonderful stories to have, and that's what they are, is their stories, and I just love history. So there's an awful lot in the teaching Bible about the history and the geography about the time before Jesus came into our lives. Now, I said that you only work four hours a week, meaning just on Fridays. But you haven't been in for a while because obviously we haven't been open. What has it been like for you without all of us present? Um, Both us out there in the ether and us here in the office itself. Well, I miss everybody. I miss the people coming into the office. I miss the parishioners. I miss, I miss everything, okay, that's here. I look forward to my little four hours a week because I get to keep my fingers in everything. Um, and I, I love coming over to the parish. Parish is like my home, okay. I've been coming over here almost, I guess, close to 40 years that I've been in the parish. And um, it's just home to me. I'm so comfortable over here. And to be able to stuck at home, it just, it's not great. You know, I can't get over here as often as I would like to. I don't get to see anybody, you know. I miss my girlfriends. I miss, I miss everything, you know, being stuck in the house. Um, I hope this is not going to take too much longer before they find a, a path forward where we can all get together and, and the, um, and the state opens up again, so. But I feel bad for everybody that's, that's had to deal with this. this I had um, one extended family member. My sister's uh, father-in-law passed from, COVID, from the virus, from COVID. And um, it was very, very sad. He had to die alone. Thank God he had one of those angels of mercy there to hold his hand uh, because the family couldn't see him. And what they had to go through for a funeral is, it's, it makes it so much harder for somebody to cope with the, with the passing of a family member. So, and my sister included. So it's, um, it's tough. It is. I thank Madeline for giving us a few minutes. She came in on her day off, as if, as, as if she doesn't have a day off. And... My continuing day is off. <laughs> just so we can at least get a chance to talk to her. Please, I ask you to remember, as Madeline alluded to, those who basically need to recognize the joy that's in the world, by, especially at this time when there is loss. And we ask that you keep on following the website for updates, because there might be some updates coming in the next few days or weeks. Probably more days than weeks. Have a great day.